What is going on, movie meals, movie meals? Shows me. Where's Kyle? I don't know. He's probably at work. That's what he does. Hey guys, uh, we're having a little snack time video for you today. Just a short, quick uh, thoughts from me on the new Netflix original film, Okja. Uh, I had a chance to check it out just uh, earlier today. Kyle hasn't gotten a chance to see it, but I thought I'd make a quick video on my thoughts on the film. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. I, I think Netflix is knocking it out of the park, guys. They really know how to make good quality shows. And they're starting to really understand their movies outside of the Adam Sandler, Ridiculous Six kind of movies. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was direct from the director of Snowpiercer. I thought he directed it just beautifully. Um, it had incredible acting from Tilda Swinton to Jake Gyllenhaal, who I didn't even know was in the movie. I knew it had a good cast, but I forgot about Jake Gyllenhaal. He was really good in the movie. Uh, we had Lily Collins was in there. Stephen Yun from The Walking Dead was in there. Uh, Paul Dano, who I'm a big fan of, was in there. And I gotta give props to the little girl in the film who was with Okja through this journey. She was phenomenal and completely stole the show. She was great. I really enjoyed this story of of humans genetically creating these super pigs that are going to give us fresher and better meat, per se. Um, and this story of how this super pig, the best pig, is going to be slaughtered and killed, and this young girl's story to go save her friend is really what it was, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I did have a few negatives on the film. I thought Okja looked a little CGI at times. It felt a little green screen at very small moments. Um... And I thought there were a few scenes and whatnot that didn't feel 100% real. Um, and I don't know if that was the acting or on the directing. I want to say it was a little bit more on the directing. There's a scene where Paul Dano kind of punches and attacks someone and it felt a little fake to me, to be honest. It didn't feel like he was truly, really like mad and hitting a character. He felt a little withdrawn and holding back. Um, but I really did enjoy this movie. Um, I personally am not a vegetarian or anything. Like, I do eat meat, but I do understand the, the whole breeding just to slaughter concept and, and this thing that's happening that a lot of people are very upset about. I get it. And it was a very tear-jerking story to watch this girl go save an animal she really cares about. And not just an animal, but a friend, a family member. And it pulled on the heartstrings, got teary-eyed, and it is a really good film. I think Netflix really outdid itself. I think it's a fantastic film. And I wouldn't be shocked if it got some award accolades coming Oscar season. It might have come out a little bit too soon. The fact that it only went on Netflix also makes sense if they don't release it in some theaters. But I ended up really enjoying this film. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, so please, if you got Netflix, go check out Okja. It's got an incredible cast incredible directing and a great story overall so guys please go check that out uh, and hopefully kyle will be with me next time but uh yeah so go check it out comment below when you do watch it what your thoughts are and uh, as always thanks for watching mom